Terminus was the Roman god of boundaries, his name literally meaning boundary stone in Latin. It's said that his cult was of Sabine origin, and introduced either during the reign of Romulus or that of his successor, Numa Pompilius. Those who gave the credit to Numa explained his motivation as the prevention of violent disputes over property. Further adding to the antiquity of his worship are claims that the Capitoline Temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus, dedicated in 509 BC, was built over an altar to Terminus. Before constructing the building, the augurs had inquired as to whether the various gods and goddesses worshipped on the site were content with having their altars moved, and only Terminus, possibly along with Juventus, the goddess of youth, refused. Thus, the stone was included within the Capitoline Temple, and its immovability was regarded as a good omen for the permanence of the city's boundaries. Since it was believed that the stone had to be exposed to the sky, there was a small hole in the ceiling directly above it. The worship of Terminus was centered around the boundary stone, and records of how it was carried out have gone down to us from a Grammaticus, or land surveyor, known as Siculus Flaccus. Whenever a new boundary was made, the bones, ashes, and blood of a sacrificial victim, along with crops, honeycombs, and wine, were placed into a hole at a point where states converged. The stone was then put on top of this hole, and on the 23rd of February, the end of the Roman year, the festival of Terminale would be held here during which neighboring families would meet and decorate their respective side of the stone with garlands. The aforementioned sacrifices would then be repeated, drenching the marker in the blood of a lamb or pig, followed by a feast with hymns in praise of the god. Anyone who removed the stone would be cursed and could be killed without repercussions, although later on the death penalty was substituted with a fine. Terminus also received public offerings during the festival. One example would be the sacrifice of a sheep made at the sixth milestone from Rome along the Via Laurentina, and similar rituals ought to have been carried out within the Capitoline Temple. However, according to Plutarch, the earliest worship of Terminus did not involve blood sacrifice, since the god was seen as a guarantor of peace. Although sometimes associated with Jupiter, there aren't any known myths about Terminus himself. This has led many during the 19th and 20th centuries to associate him with an early stage of Roman religion, when worship was more directed towards physical objects and their spirits, as opposed to human-like deities. However, this view has been put into doubt, with some arguing that personalized gods would have existed far earlier than previously thought. <laughs>